Hey guys, how's it going? Sean here from truthfed.com and it's been a long time since I've done a video like this particular one. Uh, but I thought it was worth noting. The economic collapse blog, Michael Snyder, who's probably with out of doubt the best out there, best blogger about the economy, uh, has written this title here. This two-day stock market crash was larger than any one-day stock market crash in U.S. history. Now, when I first started truthfed.com almost two years ago now, I believe, uh, one of the things that I focused on primarily was warning about an economic collapse, famine, and plunging into World War III. But the main focus was the collapse of the United States, both socially and economically. And then, as most of you know, it's... Uh, evolved into an end times uh, community where we discuss end time events, biblical prophecy. But there's still some people occasionally uh, that, well, let's start with this. This is the kind of stuff I started out reporting on. And, and I don't talk about it much anymore because I think it's obvious I think anyone should be able to look outside and realize that the United States is collapsing both morally, socially, economically. And I've been focusing on the importance of end-time prophecy. But uh, as we know, we are in the Shemitah year, which is supposed to complete uh, here in September. And today is August 23rd, so we're right on the cusp of that. And uh, as uh, some people have pointed out, um, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn is an example, uh, warning that there's going to be an economic meltdown. Of course, we already knew this. I've, I've known this for some time. I've been reporting on it for a couple of years uh, just because the math says that it's going to. But then, of course, you add in the prophecies and the Shemitah year and all of that, uh, then it's without doubt. Michael Snyder writes, we witnessed something truly historic happen on Friday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average plummeted 530 points, and that followed a 358-point crash on Thursday. When you add those two days together, the total two-day stock market crash that we just witnessed comes to a grand total of 888 points, which is larger than any one-day stock market crash in U.S. history. It is also interesting to note that the 888-point crash comes in the eighth month of our calendar. Perhaps that's just a coincidence, or perhaps it's not. It just struck me as being noteworthy. This is the first time that the Dow Jones, or the Dow, has dropped more than 300 points in two consecutive days since November 2008. And we all remember what happened back then. Overall, this was the worst week of the Dow in four years. And there have only been five other months throughout history when the Dow has fallen more than a thousand points, the most recently being October 2008. Of course, we still have six more trading days left in August, so there's plenty of time remaining for even more carnage. And then uh, he goes on to mention the Shemitah year. Another very interesting thing to note is that the largest stock market crash in U.S. history put, took place on the very last day of the Shemitah year in 2008. And now we are less than a month away from the end of this current Shemitah year. It's funny how these strange coincidences keep happening. I'll leave a link to this article in the video. Somebody, you know, I mentioned at the beginning that I, this is primarily the type of stuff I used to do. I used to do these kind of videos and report on these kinds of things. And someone who uh, was a, that used to hackle me a, quite a bit came to my channel a couple months ago and posted a comment that said, whatever happened to the whole stock market or the whole economic collapse thing? You know, kind of scoffing and mocking at me. The time for scoffing is coming to an end. Not only about scoffing about the crash, the economic collapse, not just in the United States, but globally, as prophesied. Not just the collapse of the United States, but a time for scoffing about end-time prophecy, about the tribulation, about the rapture of the church, and the second coming of Christ. 
scoffing about these things is going to swiftly come to an end. My first advice would be to make sure that you are right in right standing with God. Get your house in order spiritually. And then as a secondary thought, I would make sure I had some food and water and things of the like. It's about to get crazy. Peace and grace be with all of you. Please share this video. God bless.